kind of know why we're doing this. <laughs> yeah, we'd like to know. <laughs> why are we doing this? <laughs> um, in 1978, that's the last Christmas before my husband died, three months before he died, and Karina was almost two and Kent was three, and we had a bunch of people coming over for Christmas Eve, just like tonight. And my dad, oh my, their dad would always read the nativity story for us, right? And he was worried that with the babies, he wouldn't be able to read it and keep them quiet. Like, we always have that problem with little kids. So he said, well, why don't I tape record me reading the nativity story? Then that way I can hold one of the children and you can hold one and things will be better, right? Well, he always loved the, the Christmas carols. He loved to sing. And so... He also interspersed songs for us to sing in between the reading and the loop. And through the years, so it's very precious to us because that's one of the few things we have that have his voice on. And so, um, somewhere over here. It's one of Laura's gifts. This is for you. And I will give one to Karina and, and Kerr. I got to thinking that, who knows, with Y2K coming, what could happen to each other's houses or whatever. So I wanted to be sure each person has the nativity story, not just me, so that you've got it. Okay? Know, and, that Y2K and I'm very fear. well yeah. aware that as your families are growing up and so forth, you may... Thank <laughs> you. 